edition of Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week. We begin at number 10 with a slick move from sophomore Sean Jansen, who loses a Moravian defender with his fake and feeds sophomore Brandon Moyer for a goal in the Mule's 17-7 win. At number 9, softball playing its home opener against Oneonta, and it's Sophie Chan knocking down this line drive up the middle for the out. Later in the game, top of the seventh time run on third and one out, and Chan gets a called strike three. Next batter hits a pop-up to second, and the Mules win 3-2 behind Chong's complete game. At number 8 with this goal early in the second half against Drew, sophomore Ethan Grossman scored his 100th career point in just the 24th game of his career. Grossman added some more points later in that game and also against Moravian, and he finished the week third on Muhlenberg's all-time list with 107 points in just 25 games. At number 7, women's lacrosse against Misericordia, it's sophomore Talia Carson spinning to her left to score a goal. And one good spin deserves another two. Later in the game, senior Amanda Tulo spinning to her right, then to her left before scoring. At number 6, men's lacrosse got four goals by defensive players in its 2-0 week with wins against Drew and Moravian. Sophomore Alex Giaquinto scored goals in both games. And in the Moravian game, it was freshman Cooper Richards scoring his first career goal. He also had two assists. One more goal by a defensive player coming up later. At number five, we're going to show you the same video of Matthew D'Ambrosia that we did last week after he pitched a shutout against Marymount. This week he pitched a four hitter, allowing no earned runs in a win against Penn State Burks. He is the first mule with back-to-back -back complete games, allowing four or fewer hits since 2011. At number four, a Moravian player comes in alone on junior Garrett Pope, but Pope stones him early in the second quarter. It was one of Pope's 11 saves in the game. At number three, senior Allison Sweeney extended her hitting streak to 13 games with this two-run single against Oneonta in the bottom of the second inning. It proved to be the game-winning hit as the Mules won their home opener 3-2. Sweeney's hitting streak was snapped at 13 in the second game, but she did drive in all three runs in the first game. At number two, congrats to junior Gabriella Crivelli for being named Centennial Conference Defensive Player of the Week in women's lacrosse. She tied a school record with seven cause turnovers and also added four ground balls, four draw controls, two goals, and an assist in the Mules' 15-5 win against Misericordia. And at number one, it's sophomore Matt Hager with the Mules tied to Drew 5-5 early in the third quarter. He steals a pass, drives down the field, fakes out the camera person, passes off to P.J. Lombara. Lombara passes it back to Hager, who scores his first career goal. The Mules take the 6-5 lead and go on to win 11-6. It's our number one play. Thanks for watching. Back with more top plays next week. Go Mules!